new at six. One person is dead after the car they were driving went through a fence in New Haven and into the Mill River. Firefighters rushing to the scene moments after that crash. Now the big question: What happened? News 8 Stephanie Simone was first on scene and spoke to one of the witnesses. Look at this waterlogged car. Crews had it dangling above the New Haven's Mill River just after 11 this morning. I saw pieces of a dark colored car floating in the water. Natasha Sinclair was walking home and saw the first responders. It's sad. It's a sad situation. Just after 8, police say a witness on Grand Avenue called 911 saying a car drove right through a fence and then. and went over uh, the river wall. Uh, and directly into the Mill River. Companies got on scene. They immediately were in their cold water rescue suits and they got into the water. They attempted to make entry into the vehicle and they're just they were limited access and debris in the water. They were unable to get into it. Dive teams suited up, but an old tree and other debris in the river blocked them from getting inside that car. Police say it quickly became a recovery mission. About three hours later, a wrecker finally pulled his black sedan from the river. Investigators will be looking through this car, evidence on the road, and surveillance cameras to try and piece together what went wrong. We'll be reviewing uh, any footage that we can possibly get from any of those cameras if they're in operation. Just prayers for the family. Prayers for the family. The medical examiner is on scene. They'll take the body to try and figure out why this person might have veered off the road. In New Haven, Stephanie Simone, News 8.